Hello everyone and welcome back. We have got a treat today because I have invited a lot of my old friends who I had previously unfriended or banned or blocked to come back again. And today I am joined by Alexander Wicks, who is pretty cool because I think he has witch powers, but he doesn't use them unless he has to. A lot of these friends that I have are witches, meaning that they bought that evil potion. And they think that uh, flying up to the dehumidifier and flying up to the next dehumidifier and getting a win makes them an expert. It doesn't. It just means that you're insane because you spent a million Robux on witch powers. But Alexander Wicks. Even though he has the witch powers, he tries not to use them unless he has to. And usually that means uh, somebody knocked us off the tracks or we crashed or something. Or in a case like this where you got a train stuck in front of you. And it doesn't look like the guy's going to move. So what do we do? We fly off into space. And now he's going to get rid of the back of the car, because that's what an expert does. Give us a convertible, because they are much easier to land back on the tracks than the full car. So yeah, I feel bad for uh, ever blocking or uh, unfriending Alexander Wicks, because he's never made any trouble at all. Some of these other guys, every day that I log in, they're on within five minutes, waving their potion in my face and trying to fly me up to the dehumidifier. But Alexander Wicks has always been very patient, very professional. And the reason I ban most of you guys, in case you didn't know, is because when I am trying to get to a new record like you know, 1,600 or 1,700 or 1,800 wins. I cannot get multiple wins with people jumping in my cart every two seconds. It just causes chaos. So I will unfriend everybody, get on a private server, and try to get like 10 or 15 wins a day by myself. And that seems to be the only way that I can keep my... Uh, my streak going with the most wins. And I do think I have the most wins without uh, having witch powers. I see the leaderboard every week and I see uh, Shake Lovin and Wonderful Girl and some other people getting like two, three hundred wins a week. But those aren't actual wins. They, they're using the witch powers to fly up to the first dehumidifier and then probably touching the track like for five seconds and then flying up to the second dehumidifier and getting a win. That's how you avoid the cops. You jump out of the car and you run past them. But I always try to get my wins the traditional way by driving around the track or riding in the back of somebody's cart around the track even though you will see me flying every now and then, that's probably like less than 5% of my wins was being flown to the dehumidifiers. But anyways, it's good to have all the friends back again. I was getting tired of uh, looking at my friends list and just seeing AI Soccer 7 as the only person on there. Now I've got like 43 people on there, so. Uh oh <laughs> what did you think was going to happen when you went through a red light? Of course you're going to crash, but he doesn't care. Like I said, he's got witch powers, but he's not giving up. He's just going to land back on the track again. Go straight to the dehumidifier. I don't have to wait. I can get out any time and go run and jump into the dehumidifier. I think I will. Now he can fly in here and land and try to get the cart back on the tracks while we're in the dehumidifier rather than outside the dehumidifier. Nope, he did it anyway, so we're good to go. Trying to 
trying to think what else has been going on lately. It's really hot here in Texas. It's like 100 degrees every day now, so... It is time to just hide inside for the whole summer and come out in October when the weather starts to cool down. Last year was brutal. I think we had some months where it was over 100 degrees like every day. But this year, we've been hanging out in the 90s so far in June. Hopefully it stays that way in July and August, but usually it creeps up above 100 after the 4th of July and it just stays there until like the middle of September. All right, we have successfully made it to the back nine. Let's see how quickly we can get the win. These little mini carts aren't easy to drive either. I don't know what it is, but it seems like the bumps, if you don't have the back end in the cart, they've designed it so when you're in these carts without the back end, it, the bumps tended to make it go a little bit higher. And that throws you up in the air a little bit higher and you fall off the track, so. I think normally I take those bumps at about 11 miles an hour, but I'm in one of these mini carts that you've got rid of the back end. I'll usually do it at about nine miles an hour. Of course, I think it doesn't matter for Alexander Wicks. I think he's got the magnetic wheels, so you could probably do 50 over these bumps and still not get thrown off the track. Okay, we got a green light. We are going for it. Through the turn, no problem. Uh oh. We hit the door. But we're still on the track, and we're still on the track. All right, I feel like running. That's what's great about being a passenger. You don't have to sit in a car if you don't want to. Anyways, I uh, recorded these videos a couple of days ago, and I'm putting sound on them today. And today happens to be Sunday. It's Father's Day. And I'm watching the U.S. Open. And right now, Bryson DeChambeau is winning by one after 10 holes and I hope he does win because uh, he's one of those live golfers they split up the uh, PGA when the Saudi Arabian League came in called live a lot of the players left and told the PGA they don't pay enough we're gonna go over to the Saudi League because they pay big money and the PGA started a huge smear campaign against these players that left one of them being Bryson DeChambeau, who's a great golfer. And right now he is winning. And it would be nice if a live golfer actually won the U.S. Open and not a PGA golfer. 
Not that I don't like the PGA. There's a lot of great players, but uh, the truth is they are cheap. They don't pay their, well, they're not really their players. Each player on the PGA is like a private contractor, and the PGA doesn't really care whether they win or not or how they're getting each tournament or how they're paying their bills. They just kind of say, okay, if you win, you win. If you lose, too bad. Don't come back. We don't need you. Whereas Live Golf is like a big family, and Live Golf also have, has teams, so the team format is fun to watch too. Because not only do individual players play each tournament, but there's like five man teams that play against each other during tournaments also. So it is fun to watch. Much like cart ride around nothing is fun to watch. But I always uh, am happy to see when the establishment that's been around for like a hundred years, like the PGA, has somebody rock their world and shake things up and tell the world they're not what you think they are. They're just as money grub and hungry as every other corporation in the world. And if they don't start treating their employees right, we'll just walk off and go somewhere else who appreciates us. And that's exactly what they did with Live Golf. And now the PGA has to rethink their strategy and how to get some of these players back. Right now, I don't think any of them have ever come back. Once they join the Live Golf Tour, I don't think they go back to the PGA. I've noticed that a lot of companies in America too. It used to be that uh, back in the 50s and 60s and 70s, you'd get a job with a corporation and they'd take care of you. You'd, you'd get a nice paycheck. Not enough to make you rich, but enough to live the American dream. And you'd also get a nice retirement plan, you know, get a little pension when you retire. Something to help you that uh, goes along with your social security so you're not living in a tent when you turn 65 years old and you can't work anymore. But that's all gone away now. You can't find the corporations anymore that uh, take care of their people like they used to. And they'll do everything they can to save a buck. They'll cut your sick days, they'll cut your pay, they'll take away all your benefits. And if they can find an employee that'll do your job for a lower price, they will fire you and hire them in a heartbeat. There's no loyalty anymore the other way. All these companies ask their employees to be loyal, but the companies are not loyal to their employees. All right, Alexander Wicks, make up your mind. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> he lands right back on the track as soon as the elevator's gone. It figures. That's all right. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting at all. At all. A win's a win. Oh, but I got my YouTube uh, pay statement. I'm still not a professional gamer yet because uh, they haven't paid me. Because YouTube doesn't pay you until you make $100. So my first month after I got 1,000 subscribers, I made $29. And then last month, I think I made $42. So I'm still not over 100 yet. But I'll let you know when I get my first paycheck because then I will technically be a professional YouTuber and gamer. And uh, that might actually make the news. You might see me on uh, the evening news. Because even though it's $100, if you round up to the nearest million, that's $1 million. So I like have a million subscribers and a million dollars, if you round up. Okay, we are in the big loop. Now is not the time to get stuck. 
although I don't panic when I ride with somebody that has witch powers. I do not panic at all because even if we get stuck, he can easily fly us up to the second dehumidifier, which is one of the benefits of being a witch, but it's also one of the curses because uh, I have gotten stuck so many times when I'm flying by myself or driving by myself in that big loop. And if you don't own the gun to blow up your car, you don't own witch powers, there's nothing you can do except jump to your death and start all over again. And that is one of the challenges of the game. Okay, usually I get out about now and start running around like a goofball, but we are upside down, so if I jumped out, I'd never be able to get back in the cart again and I would die. Which is not a good thing. Okay, we are done. Thank you, Alexander Wicks, and welcome back. Hope to see you in many more videos in the future. Let's go wave goodbye. Let's see if we got any other friends out here. Looks like we do. Oh, yeah. There's Elias. I think he's one of my friends. And I thought I saw V8 up there, too. All right, folks. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.